This happened in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Tulsa, listen, Oklahoma stay popping, bro. Go ahead. Look at this. Look at this. You see how they try to escape? You see? Look at this. Hey, call the police. Call the police. He said call the police because now they, he the sees they tussling. Uh oh. See the woman taking her shoe off? Look at this. Look at the woman. Got the shoe. Now I want y'all to pay attention. See the man in the gray? Y'all see that? Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. I think y'all missed it. Watch the heavy set man in the gray. You see what he got? Play. Pause. I don't know if you could catch it. Listen to me, y'all. There you go. Listen to me. Brothers wake up in the morning thinking all they're going to go do is teach the word of God to people who say that they believe in this Bible. But what you find out when you get there that them people, they don't really believe in that Bible. These is niggas. These is gangsters. These is pimps. These are liars who are deceiving our people. What was necessary that that man thought he needed to pull a, a, a gun out? He was there for the confrontation, too. We know about the confrontation. He was there for that. They jumped on our people. They right. jumped on us. And now you feel that your life is threatened. And now because you attacked us, now you need to pull a gun out? That's assault with a deadly weapon. Now, imagine, he got the gun pointed to the brother's head. Go back, man, just so y'all understand what we're doing. You got the woman with, with the wild shoe. Go ahead. Imagine getting hit in the head with that corn chip smelling shoe. You see that? Pause. Notice, this is what I'm telling y'all something. These brothers showed great restraint. Because you notice, you, you see anybody getting punched in the face? You see anybody throwing hands like that? Here it is. That you got women hitting them over their head with shoes. The brother cut head cut wide open because this woman got her stiletto upside his head. These men show great restraint. Now, I'm going to tell you all something. This, right, this could have ended a completely different way. Mm -hmm. But know for surety, the aggression is never on our end. We just got Bibles. They got guns. We got Bibles. They got issues with the Lord. So you men, I'm telling y'all, y'all better pay attention. Eyes up. Don't be out here looking goofy like, oh, ain't nothing going to happen. Ain't nothing. This ain't no big deal. The prophets gave their lives for this, brothers. This could have went a whole different direction. Indeed. And don't think for a second this is going to scare us away. Nope. This puts us in the mind frame, yeah, I got to be out there next week. That's where I got to be. Okay, since that, I got I to gotta hit these churches because that's where the issues is at. What nobody gonna correct it? What nobody gonna? Where was the where was the leaders of the church to say, "Hey, uh, Pastor So and So, what's wrong with you? Get in the car. Let's go. Let's go." Listen to me. We dealing with niggas, and their skirts are being lifted, just like Creflo. He trying to run because his niggadom is being revealed. Everybody's seeing what y'all are really about. The believers ain't in there. The believers are the ones that's going to read and do what God said to do. All praise to the Most.